Hello everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater. Welcome back, welcome if you're new, and as always, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, and comment. Well, my bargain bead box came. It came a few days ago, but I wasn't home, so I will open it. It's a little later this month, again, but oopsie, I'm cutting the paper. But I wouldn't have had time to do it anyway, so. I don't know what I just did here. Oh man, I'm on a cleaning kick today. I cleaned my kitchen up really good. And, and the crazy thing is, my cleaning lady's coming tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, Art Deco Deluxe Collection. So it says, your beads, inspired by the glamour of the Roaring Twenties. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this. This package includes black, gold, teal, and green tones with a touch of pearlescent. Hmm. Black agate and onyx teardrops combine with agate beads, coated hematite. We especially love the chevrons. Lab-created shell pearls, sparkling crystal accents, and high-quality gold findings in Art Deco-inspired teardrop motifs. Hmm. And then it says it's worth approximately $74. So that's over $100 Canadian, so that's pretty good. I need to move some stuff. I crowded myself in here with projects. Okay, let's see what we've got here. A nice black bag. And 13, 3, 11. I'm never sure six or nine. I can remember, never remember. Oh, I think that's a nine, so I think that's a six. Don't you love watching me sort everything? I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think I'm good. So this must be the hematite. 8-inch strand of 5.5 by 6 millimeter hematite, man-made. I don't know how they can say hematite's man-made. I don't understand that. Unless it's um, the powder when they're when they're um, cleaning stones and pol and shaping them. Um, I know with turquoise sometimes they'll they'll reconstitute the powder that's there, and you can buy turquoise bricks. So maybe that's kind of the same with the hematite. I don't know, but these are beautiful. These are really nice. These would be nice on earrings, just a few of them. So number two is a seven and a half inch strand, a four millimeter, finely faceted hematite, again, man-made, man -made, <laughs> AB rounds. Oh, these are pretty. They got a little bit of weight to them, like hematite. They're quite pretty and they sparkle in different colors. I like that. Number three is one meter of three by two millimeter brass oval jewelry chain, lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. It's nice and fine. Look how fine that is. And you get a meter of it, which is about 39 inches. Okay. Number four is 50 pieces of four millimeter brass corrugated by cone spacer beads. Oh, these are cute. These are really cute. We got 50 of them, that's nice. And five is a seven and a half inch strand of eight millimeter white shell pearl man-made round beads. And these are really nice. And they're heavy like a pearl. They're really pretty. Yeah, the holes are nice. There's not paint gumming up. Well, I guess some, some of them there is a bit. Sometimes when that paint is on there and you try to poke your wire through, it peels the paint right off. But these feel like pearls, like they feel real. It's cool. Oh, I guess I'm putting stuff up too high. And number six is 16 by 18 millimeter, 18 karat gold. Oh, that's six. I'm wondering, how is that 18 karat gold? Okay, six is, see, I would have thought that was a nine. 
Anyway, six is a uh, 16 by 18 millimeter, 18 karat gold plated brass, swirl teardrop toggle clasp. That's nice too. 18 karat gold plated. A lot of that coming around now. Two pieces of 19.5 by 8 millimeter gold plated brass filigree teardrop charms. And both of these are nickel free. Oh, these are pretty. They're so delicate. I think they'd be pretty earrings. Or on a shorter braid necklace. Okay, so this is seven then. 28. No, seven. Oh, these were 20. These are number eight. Man, I'm losing my brain here today. 28 by 15 millimeter, 18 karat gold brass plated swirl, bat brass filigree teardrop pendant. I'm having trouble reading today. My husband's out there, he bought a trailer. <laughs> Not, and not a camping fun trailer either. Um, number nine is a 16 inch strand, a six by four millimeter faceted rondelle beads, jet and black gold. Jet and gold. Jet is black. You know, I don't care for these beads all that much, but given the art deco period, I think they're fitting for that. But these gold and other color beads are really not my favorite beads. But, like I said, given the period, the time that they're doing it, I think they're fitting for the box. Okay, number 10 is a 15-inch strand of 8-millimeter black agate dyed and heated round beads. Why they dye black agate? I don't know. Unless it wasn't black agate to begin with. But these are nice. I like having the variations in color. Maybe it's just a possibility that they were dyed. Because they've really got nice variations in color. Really pretty. Really pretty. Number 11 is four pieces of 17 by 11 millimeter stainless steel open teardrop. I think it says charms. Charms, gold, and what does it say? Made of hyper, <coughs> sorry, made of hyperallergenic stainless steel. Oh, these are cute. These are really cute. They're very lightweight. I can see a lot of earrings lately in the, in the kits. Number 12 is 15 inch strand of eight millimeter glass pearl beads in teal green. Glass pearl beads in teal green. These are nice. These are nice pearls too. Even though they're glass. I wonder, why they don't just call them drucks? Because they're round and drucks are round, right? But there's that. And number 13 is two pieces of 17 and a half by 13 millimeter onyx that's been dyed. <sighs> onyx is black. <laughs> and then, and brass faceted teardrop charm and not nickel free. There's a lot of little charms in this set could do a little little bracelet with them too. Hang them on bracelets. Okay, so that was 13. Number 14 is a 10 piece strand of 10 millimeter crystal faceted barrel beads in jet. I like these beads. I like these barrel beads. I love that shape. So these are nice. They've got lots of faceting. Look how they sp oh, sparkle. <laughs> And then number 15 is approximately 37 by 21 millimeter black agate, again dyed, faceted teardrop pendant. I wonder if they just say that so that, um, you know, that to protect themselves if someone finds out it's been dyed. Maybe it hasn't. I don't know. But this, you can see, um, you when you shine, hold it up to the sunlight, you can see through it. But otherwise... On the skin, it would be pretty much, it's a little bit transparent there, but it would be pretty much a solid color if it's against your skin, I think. You'd have to hold it up to, for the light to shine through. 
two more to go. Number 16 is a 17 inch or seven inch strand, sorry, of 10 millimeter black and white agate dyed and heated faceted rounds. And these are cool. <gasps> I think I can bring some of Kath's stuff in on this box. Oh, these are cool. I like these. I like the, the variations in color, like even that pop there. That just shows you it's a stone. Those are nice. And finally, number 17 is a 20 piece strand of eight millimeter crystal faceted drop beads in teal. These are like that, they sometimes call them strawberry or pear shape. These are gorgeous. These are really pretty. I like this box, even though I feel like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I would put these together, but on camera they look good. But we'll see. I think, I know I have some green um, agate from Kath, some beads, and I know I have some black beads that I could maybe pull into this box and um, and use them. We'll see. I, I have a few other projects on the go first, and when I'm done them, I can start on my my other things. So my favorites, I really like this green. I really like that color. I love these. 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 And I love these. And I like the rest. It's not that I don't like it, but I just, those are my favorites. What's, what are your favorites? Share with me what your favorites are. Anyway, I wish you lots of love and happiness until we meet again. Oh, just hold on a second. I just saw something. Look at, these are the leftovers from that strand I used of the Jesse James um, bead box. Look at that. I can pull them in on this. So, you know, sometimes it's good that you didn't put your stuff away like you should. I'll just throw these in the bag with, with this and I can use them then. So anyway, I wish you lots of love and happiness. Tell me your favorite pieces. Um, until we meet again, take care, my friends. Bye-bye.